just to stop asking for things and blaming others for your current situation or making excuses and start asking the things that you want from yourself because you will eventually see the results when you are trying your best if you're unmotivated i'm gonna talk about my story and how i started from zero from moving to canada alone by myself and without knowing anyone except my cousin and also from living into a small room and having five roommates into having my own place for myself being able to afford to rent in downtown toronto and also having a full-time job and earning in Income, to be able to afford things and to be able to survive in a very expensive city like Toronto and the most important thing is I did all of this as an immigrant so if you're feeling unmotivated and you think that you can't change your situation or you don't have ability to change your life you have to watch this video because I'm gonna tell you that you're totally wrong and you just need to take action and I'm gonna share my story with you because I promise promise you that it will be very inspiring and super motivating for you and also you need to know that no one comes to help you or no one comes to change your situation for you you need to do it from yourself and you need to act on the things that you wish you would have the first thing that really helped me to change my life is pretty simple just take actions I really believe in taking actions because the results will come through from the input that you're putting into the world. So my background is in Iran and Iranians don't have much privileges that other countries have. For example, they have low speed internet and also they don't have some basic rights. Especially women in Iran can't choose to wear whatever they want. They need to wear hijab and mentally they are under so much pressure and as a woman that I grew up in Iran I found myself pretty shy without any confidence in my abilities or in my skills wasn't really responsible for myself and my expenses and I was living with my parents who I love so much and I had a really great childhood and adulthood but I had no idea about what my potential is because of the environments that I grew up in and also my culture that just suppressed women in general in Iran I was afraid of everything around me and I know it's super weird that I'm uh, talking out loud about it but I was very afraid and I'm still experiencing some of these side effects from Iran's culture but I got my bachelor's degree in graphic design from Iran and then I got no jobs and I was just spending my time watching TV shows, laying on my bed. I was in my comfort zone all of my 20s i wasn't uh, physically active then i studied ielts for six months and i got seven for ielts academics because i wanted to move to canada to just get out of iran and i applied for a student visa and then i moved to canada to uh, in 2019 to study at humber college it was the media communications program at age of 24 i moved here in iran there are so many restrictions that you have have no idea as an immigrant that I moved here you are very vulnerable you would experience being very lonely and it's pretty tough first thing that you need to know if you want to um, move to Canada is that like the first year is super tough super hard it's so much harder than the second year if you want to have the second year of your immigration easier you need to work really hard on your first year if you are worried about your second year and if you want your second year of immigration be very different you need to work hard in your first year i stayed at my cousin's house for the first month then i moved to a small room in around toronto so i wasn't in downtown another thing that you need to sacrifice is that you need to move at the suburbs area of toronto i was at because your living expenses would be much lower than like downtown toronto which is so overpriced 
I was living with uh, three people, actually four people, because one of my roommates would uh, bring his uh, girlfriend uh, to the uh, apartment. I was doing my assignments, I, I was going to my classes, and after four months, I was struggling financially. At the same time, I decided to just apply for uh, food services uh, and uh, the catering service at the Humber College that I was studying and at the same time I was applying for like Starbucks, Tim Hortons. It was a physically demanding job uh, with minimum wage, a part-time and I was in the job uh, for five months and I was still struggling financially and my parents would help me with my rent. Then in 2020 the COVID came and I got laid off from my job and I got paid by government with uh, employment insurance which I'm so thankful for. I started working at Fiverr as an illustrator to just earn uh, more money on the side and I had a part-time job as a graphic designer and at the same time I was also preparing my design portfolio because the uh, graphic design job that I had wasn't paying me enough and uh, the company that I was working for didn't have any much clients therefore I wouldn't get paid much after a few months I got a new graphic design job with higher salary on this side I was studying full-time and I was working full-time and I studied user experience design because I saw that the salary uh, for UX design jobs is higher than graphic design so during that time that I was sacrificing everything and I was just focusing on growing my skills my roommates would just stay out until midnight or they were just partying until midnight and they would like uh, wake up really late at noon but I was just uh, waking up really early in the morning before my job starts I would just study really hard and just uh, work on my portfolio for example very hard I wouldn't go anywhere I wouldn't do any parties I don't want to say that I'm much better than anyone and I'm very smart I'm just giving you the overview of how like I was doing and how I was spending my time intentionally I was super dedicated to make sacrifices and just take actions so my diploma from uh, Humber College wasn't really helpful because I, I had a BA from Iranian graphic design and uh, the Humber College pro diploma program was pretty basic for me and it was just the basics of design so I just wanted to tell you that I was making the main impact on my own journey because something that I really believe in is that universities and colleges are just like businesses they don't really care about students or about their growth. They just want to earn money. For example, I asked Humber College to support me financially. And I mentioned my situation and I mentioned that Iranian currency has no value and when I uh, convert money in Canadian dollars, it's, it's so much low. They didn't care. They didn't help me. They just helped me for 500 for like but my uh, tuition fees was like eight thousand dollars so you need to be responsible for your own situation because nobody would come to help you then i graduated and i applied for us design job i got hired for a startup company and the salary was a bit higher than my uh, graphic design job so then in 2021 that i was graduated and i got my new job i was able to move to my own apartment and I also got a higher credit limit and uh, after that, after seven months of being in my US job, I applied for the senior level job and I got hired again at another company with much higher, my salary was tripled for my new job. So yeah, I changed everything in just two years and I changed my situation in just two years by just focusing on on the things that matter the most the time that I moved to my new apartment I remember my roommates who are at the same age as me were just staying at that place and were just staying at their own situation because I was taking actions and I was just working so hard 
and I was spending time on myself as an immigrant. Now I want to talk about four things that nobody would tell you if you want to move to Canada as an immigrant alone around your 20 to 30. The first thing is that you need to be responsible for yourself because no one would come for you to help. I mentioned this phrase a lot in this video. I'm sorry, but I need to, I feel like I need to mention it uh, like over and over again because I really believe in it and I was just making the main impact in my own journey. The second thing is that the first uh, year of moving is very tough. You have to sacrifice partying, having fun, live in hard conditions with multiple housemates in suburbs area. Number three is that if you're not disciplined and you don't have time management skills, you will be struggling financially. This is the truth guys. When you have nothing and when you are nothing, it's so hard at first. You need to be really strong and study hard. So at that time, I was very strong. I was studying full time. I was working full time and I was doing my assignments and I was living with uh, multiple people with a small room, buying groceries, making lunch, dinner. So you need to really focus on growing your skills and selling your skills to the companies that are hiring. Number four is living expensive in uh, Canada, especially Toronto, is super high. If you have limited money, you need to focus on having an income with decent salary. So first, uh, as I mentioned, start by living in corners of Toronto, in suburbs area, because the rent in those places are much cheaper. Thank you so much guys for watching this video until the end. If you want to move to Canada all by yourself, I'm just very proud of you that you made this decision to move because if you want to change your life you need to move out and move around and you just need to take actions i really believe in taking actions and not overthinking too much and just not planning too much subscribe to my channel for more videos about design and about my ux design journey if you want to learn how to create websites in webflow and uh, also like this video so that i can know that i was pretty motivating for you because i want to make impact on your life thank you guys see you in the next video bye